This next wonderful walk starts in the heart of rural Welsh-speaking Wales, Newcastle Emlyn. It's a bustling town and has always been popular with visitors and locals. Unlike many Welsh towns, it has the ruins of a Norman castle sitting proudly on the banks of the River Tavy. It was founded by Meredith Apries in 1240 and it's one of the very few castles in Wales actually built in the local stone. Now, as usual, there are shorter walks available in the area around the town, for example, and alongside the river. Perfect if you haven't got that much time. But I'm about to walk along one side of the River Tavy to the famous town of Kenarth and then back along the other side of the river through fields and along country paths and lanes to arrive back here at Newcastle Emden. So as I walk out of the castle grounds, I'm struck immediately by the importance of this area and this town in particular, not only during the Civil War, but in the 19th century. And the trail passes many important buildings that reflect the rise of Newcastle Emlyn in Victorian times. The town straddles the borders of Ceredigion and Carmarthenshire and soon I'm actually walking in the Ceredigion side, parallel with the river and heading towards the suburb of Atpa. Like so many of these walking trails in Carmarthenshire, the one between Newcastle Emlyn and Kenarth changes in character constantly through fields, along tree-lined country lanes and roads and of course with superb views of the Tavy Valley and River, which has been designated as a site of special scientific interest. It's also an important agricultural part of Wales and throughout its length the walking trail is an integral part of different habitats that support an impressive array of plants and animals, wild and domesticated. I've arrived at Kenarth, famous for its falls of course, which has really put this fascinating village on the map. The village stands on the banks of the River Tavy of course and borders Ceredigion and Pembrokeshire and it's a very popular attraction with tourists and locals alike. Kenarth is also home to the National Coracle Centre and it's very famous for its falls of course and the salmon leap and in full flow this is really spectacular. The bridge at Kenarth was designed by William Edwards and his son David. This bridge dominates the village and was built in 1787 and note the circular holes within the bridge which reduces the weight of the structure but without losing strength. As I walk over the bridge spanning the River Tavy, I walk back into Carmarthenshire County and continue on this fantastic walk. Past the church of St Hjaudog, built in 1872, and I love the peace and quiet and the tranquility along tracks and bridleways through magical woods and fields full of wildflowers and grasses. It's tiring work, this walking, but this route from Newcastle Emlyn to Kenarth and back is one of the most enjoyable in the county. Nature, history, points of interest, picnic sites and waterfalls, and all within the rural, even romantic setting of Carmarthenshire. As I walk back into Newcastle Emlyn, don't forget there's a myriad of information about the walks and the surrounding area in general on the Discover Carmarthenshire website. So there we are, a wonderful walk once again in Carmarthenshire, full of interest and variety and great for nature lovers and history buffs. So Newcastle Emlyn is a popular town with its coloured houses and individual shops and full of character. The perfect place to unwind after a good day's walking. And if you're hungry or thirsty as I am, well, enjoy the delights of one of the many pubs and hotels here in Newcastle Emlyn. Yakida, cheers.